Hi guys, um, it is June the 18th, 2015. It's been a while since I did videos where I actually do the logs for the times, but um, I'll start doing that again. I've been very busy. Uh, so as you can see, I have four heat pads here. These are the large ones. I've already cut open this one, the outer wrapper. But um, they are really good price on Amazon. They are really expensive at PetSmart. PetSmart wants $50 per pad. Um, on Amazon, you can walk away with $35 each. And then the shipping is what kind of gets a little iffy, but um, my first two, my first two came to, my first two came to sixty sixty five dollars, including shipping. Um, the sh I had to pay shipping, so it wasn't free shipping. Um, uh, but it's still cheaper because sixty five dollars for two as opposed to hundred plus tax. So sixty five is including tax and shipping. And my second one, right after I placed the order, one one to two days after, the shipping price jacked up, and so did the price. And it was a new seller, and I think the seller realized maybe they weren't making money or something. But uh, the next one, I paid eighty five dollars for shipping plus the product plus tax. But it was still cheaper than PetSmart because PetSmart was 112 So anyway, I got four. These are for my hedgehogs. These two are for the adults and then there's two for the baby cages because I might actually keep some of the babies. I, I will rehome most, but I might keep one to two. If I keep two, I won't be breeding again, obviously. But uh, if I don't keep any, well, then that's kind of silly, right? Um, so anyway, um, the hedgehogs are in the playpen and I am about to do this bin. I took the pad out. I have to unplug it. Um, the other reason why I'm switching over to the heat pads is also because um, I believe uh, fleece is cuter, but um, shavings and litter like this would actually be um, a lot better at spot cleaning because the hedgehogs are running on the wheel and they're stomping on their poop. It dries, it becomes crusty, and it flies off the wheel. And I usually have the wheel here, and all along here is poop. And they also pee here, and the pee uh, on the pee pad uh, liners that I made um, the poop was staying damp and that's why the cage smelled within a day or two um, so obviously if they're breeding and they're in here together I obviously don't want to keep changing the liner and disrupting them and when they're born I was thinking I obviously can't be switching the liners every day or two especially when there's a mom and all these babies so when they start moving even um, so I'm going to switch them over to bedding now and right now I'm using this one. I am going to order some shavings online because I think, sh I don't know, I haven't worked it out yet, but this one is really expensive if I'm dumping it constantly. But this one is $10 a bag and I can do four cages like this. So we're talking about that thick. So it's not, it's not sparse. This would be sparse. So we're doing double the thickness. Um, but Hedgehogs seem to pee only in certain corners, and if I can, because this stuff will dry out the poop better than the fleece, because the poop isn't that moist, um, I might be able to just spot clean the poop out of the cage, and I won't have to dump the whole cage, and just, and this stuff will swell when it's wet, uh, it will turn black, it will be a dark black color, so it's easy to see where they peed or where it was wet, so I was thinking of trying this. Um, I have it uh, bookmarked the shavings and I do have Amazon Prime so it wouldn't take too long to get it anyway but I'm gonna see how long this bedding lasts because all my hamsters are on this and I usually pick up about four to five bags so about fifty sixty dollars worth um, once a month when I go do my laundry uh, I don't pick it up every month I just like a stockpile of about four to five spare bags on hand and I go through one to two bags a month depending on what who I'm cleaning out uh, but that was because I was also uh, using corn cob for some of my hamsters so supposedly I should be going through three bags a month supposedly because I have 15 cages and 12 of them were on this guaranteed and one was on corn cob um, but anyway we'll see what's going on uh, right now half my hamsters are on corn cob I just finished my last bag um, so anyway yeah, I went away from corn cob not because I didn't like it but because they jacked up the price from $19.99 a bag to $26.99 a bag within the span of three weeks. I picked up a bag and then I went back to pick up my other two bags, which I had 
ordered all together and they actually changed the price on me when I went to go pick it up and they honored the price and they gave it to me for the price I originally inquired before I placed the order um but with that heads up a seven dollar increase is uh, not acceptable I don't care how high the gas price in the U.S. exchange is it's just not it's not financially feasible anymore uh corn cob bedding one bag for twenty dollars would clean fifteen cages exactly, so it was coming up to a dollar fifty a cage, and I was going through one bag a month. But when it's twenty six dollars, it's kind of silly because I can, I can get two bags of this and clean up all my hamsters for a month. So I'm saving seven dollars. So I found a bedding that was a little heavier, a little bit not so easy on their feet, but it was a lot cheaper. And it doesn't smell. And this one's not dusty at all. There is absolutely no dust. There's a, there's a like a um, residue on the bag, and it feels really grainy. But um, when I dump out this bin and I wipe, there is a black residue, but it's not dusty when you pour it into the bin. So this is a really good one if you have allergies, by the way. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this bin and put them back in.